Very different feeling today in a city in Alberta, in Airdrie. It was a day to celebrate everyone through tiny but uplifting messages. And as Carolyn Dunn tells us, the idea came from a student who chose to fight back against bullying. For Caitlin Prater Hackey, a sandwich bag full of positive post-it notes is like an arsenal against bullying. You're cute, you're beautiful, you look amazing today. I love you. <laughs> One for every locker of every student at her high school. And it takes two seconds and it shows somebody that you really care. Caitlin's positive note campaign came from a very dark moment 10 days ago. Someone posted a message on her Facebook feed urging her to die. Caitlin's mother saw it first. And, um, I read the post and honestly I felt like throwing up. <laughs> Caitlin didn't get even, she got positive, wallpapering school lockers with inspirational messages on post-it notes. It was a hit with fellow students, but not so much her high school. She was reprimanded, those positive sticky notes seen as nothing more than a source of litter. Of course, that only sparked a movement in Airdrie, positive post-it note day. Even Airdrie City Council passed a resolution supporting it. Positive begets positive, so just we were excited to support it. So is Jennifer Ferguson, who posted positive affirmations for all her bank colleagues. Really inspired by her story and what she did at her school in support of anti-bullying. I wanted to spread that around here at the branch. Financial advisor Christina Weenink is sparkling a little brighter today because of the positive post-its she got. It's really neat to um, understand maybe your, your own personal impact on somebody else that you're not aware of. So are all the others whose positive post-its are starting to make their way onto social media. And yes, there are plenty for the teenager who started it all. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.